Hi, welcome to Excel Rush. Today we are going to learn how to display the date properly even inside the concatenate function. What happens generally is when you use concatenate along with a date, so let me first take the customer name and let's put a hyphen and then select the date. What happens is that it displays as a number like this, which is very weird in terms of the way it is displayed. Even if I drag it down, obviously, for all of them, there will be numbers. Now, instead of this number, of course, I want the date. So let's learn how to do that. So first, I'm going to show this separately in a cell, and then we'll use it inside the concatenate function. Essentially, if you want to display the date in a particular way, you can use the text function. First, select the date and then put a format in double quotes, a particular format. We'll see what to put. So you can put a DD MM YYYY, which makes the date the same way that it is now coming to be displayed, but with a hyphen. If I change that to slash, I'll get it like that. So equal to text, the date and the format. Now here, if I put one more M, additional M, I will get AUG A -U -G as the format, the name of the month. But if I put one more M, I will get August. So you can use the format in a way that you want to display the date. Now let's see how to use this inside the concatenate function. So instead of putting the C2 directly, I'm going to say text of C2 comma double quotes dd mm y y y y double quotes closed brackets closed for text and for concatenate it gave me a proper date now i'll add one more m the way we saw earlier it will give me aug and if i add one more m it will give me the entire month name let's see how it works so now it looks much better i may also want to add one more parameter in the concatenate function after the hyphen I'll say text give me d d d only of that date it means it is going to give you what day of the week is 9th August 2024 now it's giving you FRI three letters if I add one more D it's going to give me Friday so I did not even have the day of the week here, but I was able to bring it using the text function with formatting the date the way that you want it. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps. See you in the next video.